important. Never think that you're not valuable to, as, as an educator. Never think that you're not special because you are. So, key driver to work, you must know your why. Second thing, this is for principals, uh, assistant principals, deans, superintendents, all the way down. And, and we're going to go with it. You have to understand your data. Your data needs to be clear, it needs to be comprehensive, and it needs to be explicit. You have to have a clear understanding of all of your data sets. When I talk to principals around the country, when we first start to work, when we first start to work, not when we end the work, because when we end the work, it's game changer. When I first took over as a principal, I would ask teachers questions they wouldn't have no answers for it. By the time I left, they can tell you everything about every data set because that's how we train them. So principles, the number one thing is your data has to be clear, has to be comprehensive, it has to be explicit. You have to know everything about your data. Oftentimes when you go to places, you talk to people about their data and they, they act like you're saying Mufasa on Lion King, you remember? You, you say Mufasa, people say, ooh. <laughs> people get scared of data. They get nervous when it comes to data. But please, please do not get nervous with, when it comes to your data. And principals, please do not use data to beat teachers up with. Data is about information. And the information should be clear because before we can ever move our school, before we can ever have success, we must first locate ourselves. Before you can lose, your, lose this weight, everybody has this lose weight challenge at the beginning of, beginning of the year, January 1st. This is when gym memberships go to the all-time peak. Everybody's running to, to sign up to lose weight. But before you can lose weight or before you can hit your goals, you must first know where you are. This is why you get on the scale. You say, woo, boom. <laughs> I don't like the way that look. I got a little holiday eating, you know. Like, so we got to locate ourselves. So data, you, it, it allows us to locate where we are. So what kind of data to increase student achievement, to increase graduation rates for black males, what kind of data do we need? Somebody says, well, I need the graduation rate data. Boom. That's right. What else you need? Uh, or, uh, uh, <laughs> listen. For you to increase graduation rates for black males, for you to turn your school around, you have to know your graduation rate data. You should know your graduation rate data, not just for the year that you're in, especially with this COVID piece, right? Like with this COVID piece, we don't know with, at least in New York, we don't know with the testing, like the lack thereof of state testing. And we're talking about secondary folks. This is what I, I mean, middle school and secondary, this is where I, this is where I live, right? Like I love elementary folks, but when I have to go into elementary schools, I'll give a speech and then I definitely bring my team in. My, my experience in K through five, the babies are so wonderful. I just get there and the kids just want to hug you and, you know, put snot boogers on you and stuff like that. Uh, and I love, I love the babies. I say this, anybody who works in elementary, anybody who works in elementary school, you feel like a superstar every time you go into the supermarket, right? You go to Chuck E. Cheese, supermarket, Target, anywhere you go, you walk into that joint and kids just want to hug you. Oh my God, that's my principal. Ah! They run up to you, hug you. <laughs> High school is not the same. Middle school is not the same. You see your kids at the mall, they, they want to pretend like you don't even know each other. Like we not even family. Like I didn't just tell you to put your pants up yesterday at the school, right? In high school is the kids walk by you, <laughs> right? So, but we talk about high school, we talk about knowing our data, you have to be explicit. You have to know everything, principal, you have to know everything about your data. You have to know your graduation rate data, that's important, but you have to know it for consecutive years. You can't just know it in isolation, especially with the lack of state testing. We don't know if this data is skewed or not. Listen, 
Thank you for taking time to listen to this entire message. It was a uh, four-part series on understanding your why and knowing data and how to increase graduation rates for young men of color and how do you turn around your school from a poor performance school to a high performance school. If you want to purchase the entire series, please uh, inbox me. And if you want to be a part of our 10 week leadership course, inbox me, let me know. We would love to work with your district. And or if you just want me to work one on one with you on how to specifically help your school be successful. I am here. Whatever your needs are, whatever you need, do not hesitate in reaching out. Thank you for spending this time with me. Again, from Dr. Mark Abraham. Love you. Bye.